friends my name is Renuka welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by so today I am showcasing this hero arts um, my monthly kit and you already might be seen the unboxing of this kit on my channel now um, let's start making some projects with this card kit this came with a beautiful stencil so before directly jump into this card I want to um, show you some tricks and exactly show you how uh, this kit gonna work so uh, the, in these stencils you can see there are big clouds and small clouds and also have some kind of negatives with them so i already told you um, but still i'll again give some kind of idea it also came with this kind of sponge and it is really nice you can cut it and put it aside but uh, and this ink and uh, it's kind of um, stormy sky blue color ink and i just put a little bit of ink there to show that what is the color of that ink now you can put this in just like that or you can use the edges of these clouds and put here and make some kind of uh, cloudy shapes as we do for the clouds now another uh, cool thing with this kit is these are the big rain droplets and these are the smaller one so by the scale you can uh, adjust those means if you are using this image and this umbrella you can use those these droplets because these are like uh, properly in the scale and if you want to use this umbrella you can use these droplets and this umbrella you can use these droplets there are some um, diagonal droplet also although you can use this diagonally so get that kind of diagonal effect and now let's talk a little about these stamps um, which came like it and they have come with the matching dies also so um, there are one, two, three uh, saying some faces, those you can put in the clouds and these um, storm cloud, there is one rainbow. So you can adjust those faces in the cloud by just uh, uh, cheer up the mood or make some kind of faces in the sun and the small cloud also. So um, then again, there are two kind of uh, small um, uh, images here. Like this um, cloud is a solid one and this one is like I'll just zoom, zoom it out a little bit so you can see what exactly I'm talking about here. So this this cloud is kind of um, solid one and this is the empty one. So uh, you can stamp this cloud and use the coordinating die. The same coordinating die will do for this. But if you want to play in your cloud and just uh, pop up your cloud by decorating it, you can use this. For this cloud, you can use tone and tone effect. Like you can use the white color box inks, um, the pigment ink. Um, I have color box. That's that's why I told color box. But you can use any white pigment ink or silver ink. The, the hero arts shadow inks will also do. And you can directly put on those cloud with good tone and tone effect. Like you can put these. These are some volume sheets, which parchment volume sheets kind of which came in a kit. So you can put the white ink on these and directly put those clouds on it. So you will get the sky with the white clouds. Same thing we'll do with this uh, moon and this sun and this thunder um, uh, accent and the same way it will also go with these two droplets. One is clear and another is solid. So now that makes sense that why they are giving the two images uh, of each. By the way these stars and these stars kind of same die using they are matching. There are um, some dies which is not included in kit that is this small house. There is no die for this small house but there are some extra dies which are included in kit and what are the dies included and i'll show you just i already went ahead and just uh, cut out these um, shapes so uh, you can see here that uh, what kind of dies is already have the matching one like this the these cloud ones the rainbow one the speaker cloud the small cloud the sun and the moon the big house the girl with the uh, umbrella and this umbrella and this stormy cloud and the sun yeah, I think I almost cover everything in the star. So they have all these dies with it, which is kind of uh, matching and coordinated uh, with this set. But you have some extra dies. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about them. So these are the extra dies. This one is the pot. Now what you can do with this pot, you can put that in that window. I'll show you in a while. I'll keep it aside. And then another is the cat. So it is kind of um, a really nice um, effect and you can see that it's just like if you make faces you can adjust those faces somewhere here or this um, wanky face here so you'll get the cat face and if you don't want to you can put this just like it is seeing out of that window so i'll show you that also so these two dies are extra and other than these two dies there are more 
three dies which are extra with this card kit which is not included stamps in this so these are the mountains um, these are included in a kit and there is one another big cloud which is not stamp uh, here and then this is the big moon so these are the five dies which don't have the coordinated stamp with them but they are included in a kit now let's talk about this big die this is the really nice uh, window die came in a kit it's in a three sh three parts i'll just put all this stuff aside so that i can show you this die i'll just put one rough paper oh, okay so these are the dies, uh, three dies which came. The I didn't cut out those, and why? Because it gives me the exact spacing all around. And whenever I'm cutting with these dies, uh, basically I'm cutting the frame of the window because it is also cutting this. I already cut out um, just to show you how it works. So basically, you are cutting the frame of this window, and. When you cut this, you will get the equal spacing all around. And these small little details kind of molding and everything is created by this die. So if uh, you cut this, you can directly put this die inside and you can pass through in your machine, I think in a one shot, maybe that works. I didn't do that because I just feel, it, feel that now every time I'm not using this um, kind of... Uh, fancy die i will use the plain die most of the times for this window die and at the time i will um kind of um, I, I don't want to uh, ruin the spacing so that's why i didn't cut out that whenever i the kit came with the dies like this i always try and figure it out that the best way to use them and then um, you will get these three panels out of that uh, window now um here you can color them to see the, like the outside word you can just raise this Mm, play uh you can raise this put here the parchment paper or you can put here any acetate to get the window look here and then mm, you can create a scene behind so possibilities are endless that how you can use these inlays one now um i'm talking about that pot and the cat so basically i saw one of the creative team do that and it's awesome you can create any background here like a sunset or sunrise or a night background and then you can put this cat in really black or orange it's kind of shade that where is dark and shadows are there and this cat you can set here so it is just like seeing outside that window and just for the accent that this is the small pot um like you can put a little bit of flowers or plant here so you just kind of um use whatever you have in stash or you can just put these and put some new drops or sequence some pretend like it's a flower so i really th like that they are including something different in the same way you can put these mountains these are perfectly uh, made for that window that um it looks nice that if there is this one mountain here i just create one scene for you here and then these small raindrops so you can create these small raindrops outside that and now here you can put this cat or you don't have to put this cat you can just put a little sentiment down here and your card is completed so you can do um, that way also another uh, effect uh, with this parchment paper is that you can directly color on this like white pigmenting or you can use any darker inks to add more shades of uh, directly use as a sky same time you can use this big moon and this small clouds to just add more uh, kind of uh, additional elements uh, to um, these so basically here i'm giving you a lot of ideas that how you can use these kits and make more and more cards with it uh, i don't know how many cards i am making and how i'm going to use that because uh, i just want to share some ideas first and talking first so yeah it's a little bit longer a while um, longer video as always who seen my videos they knows how long i did so these are the rainbows you can color them and use as a stencil so it will act like a stamp same for the umbrella these two umbrellas here so you can mix and match the things and create lots and lots of cards with this kit and um, um, another thing the watercolor effects will look nice on it to add a little bit of glimmer and glitter they had this this small thin stripe uh, of uh, glitter um, tapes and it is really nice because this um, colors are like a uh, very rainy and if you don't want to do this all this and coloring and all that stuff uh, you can go and just um, use this stamp as your um, background I'll show you what I'm talking you can use these kind of wood grain papers and these are the like uh, basic uh, nice wood grain paper now if i want to choose the paper for this i'll choose this i will cut out the 
main portion here with the frame I will uh, now if you want to now whatever I'm talking is if you are sitting inside and seeing outside then these window is having showing some glass this may be the glass or if the glasses are clear you can see the outside scene but you can do it vice versa also you can just put this window and see like um, it's create a scene like it is inside your house means um, you can just cut out this brown portion here and these are kind of the panels that window is closed or something like that or if you want to open and for the outer size the total area I'm talking about this area this white area you can use any beautiful paper like the stripe one or the polka dot or some kind of that paper which gave the illusion of uh, uh, like it's a pattern paper which give the illusion of the wallpaper so I hope I give some kind of ideas and in that same way you can without using those any stamp you can use this cat that is sitting inside and it's kind of um, you can make miss you card this day this like uh, it's, it's cats inside and the whole scene is going on and you can write just miss you or home alone or something like that so um, these are quite uh, simple ideas i give um, and around the way i'll show you more tricks and ideas with how to use this so as we cut out this um, already cards and uh, stamp some images i think we should put one card together so let's quickly um, i'll put the card together so this is the watercolor paper I use for the technique and we'll use um, I think okay we'll go ahead and use one inlay technique for this and uh, you can use your uh, Zeke markers for this you can use the aqua markers I have the spectrum aqua markers with me and I'm just choosing the shades of some brown and uh, pale colors and I will um, just add this I'll choose this desert one I'll just add lots of colors to this so what happened um, when you are coloring this uh, the line will catches that color inside and it will gi give that um, groove effect very nicely so you can just see that how how beautiful it's already looking and when we add more colors and shading to that it will give more natural effect to it now you can see here and I'm kind of just enhancing this um, side frame here and I'm kind of mixing the color although these are the watercolor color um, pens I'm directly using those on my cardstock and I will maybe add some vincazilla or some kind of uh, shimmer to them or I will not I don't know so basically I just want to show you that how that groove is just picking out and I'm kind of following the same lines here so now you can see that you get that uh, really nice effect uh, with this and you can use your distress markers or you can directly use distress ink or you can use the traditional watercolors also here you can use um, alcohol markers also the spectrum aqua nori or the um, sorry the um, copex also so by adding these kind of um, wooden grain colors you are just adding the texture to it and it will look more pop just like more pop on those grooves now you can see that how those grooves are just if you want to you can go with more darker color in just the edges so more it will enhance more the look of the card panel and um, I'm using here the watercolor paper it's a Bristol smooth watercolor paper and I just put a little bit more dark there so I just want to wash it out uh, I made it's not some mistake I just want to show you that how you can uh, just cover your mistake if you don't like that colors so these are the nice things with these markers and if, you, if I add the Winkazella to it this one is the clear Winkazella it will add a little shimmer to my project and you can see that how everything looks beautiful so I'm putting this very quickly uh, I'll speed up the little bit process here because otherwise it will took too long to film the whole video and enjoy the coloring process and we'll put one card at least one card together i don't know how many but at least one so now i'll just took a darker marker and um, i'm kind of placing the darker marker in the inner sides of these die cuts i don't want to any kind of white picking out there because um, it's kind of giving a whole wooden frame effect there just you do for your die cuts or your fuzzy cutouts thing I'm doing that and then I'm again adding the shades of brown and desert there I'm using here spectrum aqua marker and these are like you can get these colors in essential there are only four sets so there's nothing much to say about them 
and now i have this four panels in this window now you can just cut a one big panel to put behind that window and uh, you can color your scene but for this particular one uh, i want that glass effect also so if there is a kind of glass then everything is a little bit kind of having tinge or shade of blue or gray there so that's why i'm using that although i'm not uh, doing any much scenery or greenery there i will just stamp the cloud and the raindrops and the sentiment that I learned to dance in the uh, rain and uh, yeah I just kind of placing them together and see how they looked uh, together and uh, first of all I decided that I use that ink which came in a kit but uh, I don't like that so I just went ahead and used the MFT's black hybrid ink for the stamping and for the other thing I use silver ink from the hero art which is from the previous kit. So I'm not using here misty or anything else. I'm just using those acrylic blocks, the old style method, you can say. Sorry, my head has become a little bit in the camera. Um, and then I just, I don't have any adhesive, the temporary adhesive, that's why I use the washi tape. But if you have temporary adhesive, use that. Now, um, with these uh, clouds there are some kind of faces also but i didn't use that i saw it's little bit too much on that small panels then i just took one uh, salty ocean color and i just uh, put very little on all the four sides of that four panels now you can see that i'm dabbing and i'm just giving little bit of color i don't want too much color there so make sure that it will give a little bit glass effect same time you can use um, a three or two lines for glass effects or the diagonal lines which is came in a stencil for making glass i will show that technique in my future video with the same kit now um this is the cutout where the window is now i'm using the cracked cracked pistachio color here <coughs> for the excuse me for the just a little bit of shading and also i'm not overpowering that i just want to uh, main focus on that frame so I'll just um, put the whole thing um, kind of uh, muted you can say that little bit and then I decided to add that glittery tape which came in a kit and I decided to go with the sky blue um, greenish sky blue cardstock this is from recollection and I'll add this silver tape which is came in a kit and it is really thin and nice tape kind of washi tape and i'll add only on the both two sides of that uh, panel now here uh, you can make the dots and other patterns like a uh, wallpaper but i didn't use that then i used the liquid glue because it will give me a little bit room to move and then i want to stick this frame inside so now you can directly put this frame inside and everything will put like a puzzle piece but then i decided to add a little bit of uh, foam to that frame so here i am using just a scrap paper um, and this is non-sticky paper which is the left over from the fun foam back side and then i'll put that on the tape there and then i will cut those in the most thin strips so that i'll get the nice thin strips behind that window So by adding this uh, foam, I'm just giving little bit dimension so it will get raised uh, rather than the um, flat on that platform. You can skip this step or you can add as it did before adding this um, foam tape and you can make it shaker card also by putting little bit of white sea beads will nice they look like the raindrops or anything glittery if you want to white shimmery glitter will also do. But I just keep that part, part and I put um, a little bit Tombow Mono Glue and putting all these pieces together and I really love the way it turns out and for inside I just add little um, rainbow there and uh, another sentiment from the kit. So 
after that i decided to make uh, one card which is having distress background and i first of all put that all the things that how i want to look them and then i put this panel this is little bit uh, smaller than a2 size card so i'm using here uh, four colors from distressing the yellow one is the mustard seed then i use the pickled raspberry and then i use the seedless preserves and in the last i use salty ocean now i am putting this ink uh, first of all light handedly and when i get a uh, kind of uh, i go back again with the first ink and kind of blending with both the two inks so in that way with the two inks i will get the third color in between like here with the pink and yellow i get kind of orangish look there and then with the purple and pink i get the another color so it will give give me more colors and lastly i will add that uh, blue color the salty ocean i really like this combination and i just want to make it uh, a little bit smoother that's why i'm going backward and forward with those colors i will not distress this or i will not add any water splatters to this or i will not mist it so i am just little bit careful by adding those colors you can directly add uh, the clouds um, by using that stencils here with these colors also i will show you that trick in the next part which will i'll make the cards with the same kit and then i'm just uh taking one scrap paper with me so that i will not uh, kind of uh, put my finger stamps there so after this make sure that it will dry a little bit and um, this is my dark navy blue color background uh, i choose for the card piece and i will use again the silver ink from the hero arts and i use those small droplets uh, and i'm kind of placing them all over i'm using here first and second generation stamping because this pink pigment is quite rich and then after that i'll do the same thing on the card um the uh, and i'm again using the silver and that silver really pops and look, looking really nice um you can if you don't want to use the silver ink you can use the white pigment ink or you can heat emboss all these any drop place with the um white embossing powder uh, make sure that you'll use the fine one because these are uh, kind of integrate images and then i'm just seeing that where i want more droplets and then after that i just decided to raise the whole panel and here i'm using a fun foam i cut out this fun foam a little bit bigger size so i just trim off a little bit so that it will fit it in nicely i always use the sticky sticky style down on the panel and then i'll put a liquid glue or the tape runner cause in that way i get little bit of room to adjust where i want to put that frame now after this everything looking nice um i want these white clouds little bit hanging uh, on that distress background <coughs> uh and uh, here i'm not coloring them i just want to main focus on that color background so i decided to put them white and um and i'm just placing them and after this i will add that girl with the umbrella on the bottom and i'll just stamp uh one sentiment in the corner now here you can use the volume uh to stamp it or you can heat emboss the things um i just choose to use just a ink here and i'm putting little bit blocks for a weight there cause uh, i thought it is just popping out and then after some while i just uh, use again the my favorite things black ink uh, to put those sentiment there and everything uh, every sentiment will look nice on this card there are two three sentiments came in a kit you can use your own also but uh, these are nice and if you don't want to add any sentiment you can leave that and whenever you need it the card which is like you want that sentiment you can add that so this completes another card i didn't uh, want 
I didn't add any uh, glittery effect means not the shimmer one but I just add little bit of Winkers Hela on those clouds and uh, that girl and for the inside of this card this is already uh, very dark so I decided to use those droplets water droplets uh, kind of uh, rainy droplets uh, again and then I'll put one panel of white cardstock inside and I'll put a, another die cut umbrella there now here this completes two card I don't want to add any um, clear droplets by the pretty pink posh that dew drops or any kind of sequence but you can add those I just want to make this card a little bit simpler and uh, kind of more smoother on the side so uh, and I'm really happy with that uh, just as background I don't want too much distraction there so I didn't do that uh, I hope you got some kind of inspiration with this and you got some kind of idea that how you can use this kit i will make some more cards with this kit um, in the future so stay tuned with me thanks for joining me today the supply i use are listed below in the youtube as well as on my blog you can follow me on my blog facebook instagram uh, instagram pinterest if you like it uh, hit it like button and do subscribe to my channel so until the next crafty project have a crafty life. Bye-bye.